Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for today's video I'm going to actually be heading to another Transformers UK convention. So this is called TF UK Con. Um, I came to this last year. This is smaller than TF Nation but um, this is the second year it's done it now and it's already got a bigger lineup so I'm really looking forward to this. There's quite a few guests so I'm going to hopefully get a few more videos than I did last time um, and loads of things. I'm not looking to buy anything in particular, I'm just looking to see what's going on, meet a few people um, from the Discord, from our group etc and just generally have a good day so I will catch up with you all when I get there. Okay well I'm here and that took a lot longer than expected um yeah traffic in Birmingham was awful especially on Saturdays but I'm here I need to go sort out the parking and um, let's get inside and see what's going on. So this is Ben's Collectibles store. There indeed is Ben himself. Obviously very famous YouTuber and all round great guy. Um, and this is some of his stuff. He's got the oversized KO figures. He's got what looks to be Thunder Kang, which is absolutely incredible um, up close and first hand. Oversized Menasaur, a few fans toys things. Yeah, and some obviously KO Dinobots. Just this is store one. I'm going to be walking around and getting some more. So I'm on the store of the very talented Simon Furman and indeed Andrew Wildman. And I'm going to be buying all of the Generation 2 comics. Yes, I know I said at the beginning of the video I'd try not to buy anything, but he's signing every one of them, so it's I suppose rude not to. And then I'm probably going to get a print from here as well. He's got loads of comics in the book. You carry on. Everyone's looking through. Um, and I will continue the videos in a bit. So now I'm on Rohan's stall. Who does Rohan's Corner on Transformers The Show? Um, I've had a few things off him in the past. He's got an amazing mix of literally original Diaclone. And of course, as you can see there, the jig versions. Um, he's also got... G1, reissues, G2, and then a load of newer figures as well. A complete mix of everything. And what I really like about this convention is it's it's nice, you know, it's not huge. I'll, I'll do you a pan around the room in a second. I'll just finish filming Rohan's store. So I'm back from what I can only describe as, to be honest, a thoroughly entertaining, enjoyable and all round just, just great day, to be honest. Um, again, I didn't promise to get as much video content as I would have liked to, but I think that's the good thing about these conventions or these cons, these events, that the time does just go so fast. And before you know it, it is time to go. Some people have packed up, etc. Um but again, I suppose that's it. That's the, that's the brilliance of this fandom, the brilliance of this community and the fact that everything does just flow so well. So, I mean, hopefully I got some good things. You'll see, obviously, there was uh, Ben from Ben's Collectibles. He did, not only did he have a stand, but he obviously did a talk, which was great. Um, Paddy and some of the guys from, um, Paddy does Fingers on Plastic, but Primetime Toys, um, they did a talk, which was really interesting. Jim Sorensen, who did the visual history book, he did a live um, Q&A which was great and unbelievably so you know the huge book that the visual history of Transformers that book which is just under 400 pages my question was how long did it take to collate it all together and he said he got it done in eight months which is unbelievable because of how good that book is um, and yeah as I say guys from Transformers the show were there it was brilliant obviously met uh, Andrew Wildman and indeed of course Simon Furman again in fact I'll show you them things first so when I was doing the video um, you saw that he was literally signing these for me. So this is the entirety of the Generation 2 comics. So 1 to 12. Um, and I know I've got them in the, what's it called, in the manual books, in the complete collection books, whatever it is. But it's really nice to have the actual individual items in hand. And of course I'll do videos on these for everybody who wants to see them. Um, and indeed it's really nice as well when he, when he signed them, which is fantastic. And it just again just makes things that little bit more special doesn't it um also the print 
but this is for someone else. This is for channel member. This is for Ed. As you can see, he's wrote to Ed on there. So this was from this is from Simon Furman as well. Brilliant artwork. And then um, I've got to say again, thanks to Paddy from Fingers on Plastic as well, because he brought me this and he shouldn't have. And I was trying to buy it, but he wouldn't let me buy it. He brought it for me himself. This is from Andrew Wildman. This is an amazing print. So you've got Optimus Prime at the front and RC. And if you can just about make out... You've got the Decepticon Generation 1 leaders and a bonus Beast Wars Megatron at the top. So we've got Starscream, Galvatron, Shockwave, Bludgeon, Scorponok, uh, Thunderwing, etc. Just a great piece of art. And that's kind of, I'm going to have to find somewhere on the wall for that to go because I think it's amazing. Um, and then funnily enough from Andrew Wildman, this again is for somebody else who asked me to get it them. There is, that's also for Ed, that's one of his prints. But then I suppose this is... This is one of the show-stopping things of that show. I can't believe how good this was. Um, Transformers. Now, this cover probably looks quite familiar, but the contents inside is very different. Again, he signed it because he was there. Uh, but this is, and he's called it the Sketches, the Sketchbook. So to give you an idea, I suppose, of how good this is, I'm going to do a detailed video on it because it's just amazing. So it's the sketches of all the characters. So it's not the bios of them. It's... The sketches of it so there you go look there's blaster and there's brawl on the other side oh blast off sorry um just the detail on this is just yeah i don't think words can do this any justice in fact i was so blown away with it i was just showing everybody on the table and around and then lo and behold a lot of them went and purchased it as well and the complete agreement that it's just I, I I just appreciate really good artwork because I'm useless at it. I think that's probably what it is, to be honest, because I'm so bad at it. Um, it's just, as you say, look, it's just so good. It's all the sketches of the G1 characters in alphabetical order. It is brilliant. Um, and I think that's pretty much where I'm going to round off. But I need to say a huge, huge thank you as well. Um, he did a talk. Um, he gave us a sneak preview of the next, the facts. Um, and it was my first time meeting him. And if he was watching this, apologies for talking his ear off for about two hours or so, maybe more. But I don't mean talking his ear off. Again, that's what I was saying at the beginning. How conversations sort of flow. I'd never met him before, Chris McFeely. Just what a nice guy, really nice guy. We just sat, we were talking about everything from power core combiners to beast machines to absolutely everything. And then before we knew it, it was time, you know, pretty much to go. People had packed up around etc just before the night entertainment um so yeah huge thank you to him um and to everybody as i say the guys who set it up luke um primetime toys everybody was there everybody who set it up daz was there loops was there and there's probably a few other people rj was there who i would missed out and i'm really sorry if i missed you out but it was just a great day and i had a great experience and as i said as i was leaving roll on to the next one because um, it, as I said, I said at the very beginning of the video, you know, it's, it's much smaller than TF Nation, which is nice, but you still got the feeling that it had grown from last year as well, which is good. So I can see it growing, I can see it rolling, picking up a bit of steam, but still having that nice, intimate feeling, um, which the fandom, it, well, that's what the fandom is about. And it was nice to meet a few people as well. Um, we just wanted to say hi as well so hello to you guys thank you very much thank you very much everybody for the support anyway but especially the ones again who came today up to me um and said hello that was really nice to meet a few more people in person so thanks everybody um i hope you enjoyed the footage and again apologies for not getting too much detail but i will do some videos on the stuff i've picked up because it's great and um, i want to share it with you as well okay take care